test in the mic. Test, 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 test in the mic. Hopefully, we're good. Should be good. Anyways. Don't see why it wouldn't be. Oh my goodness. Them ads, bruh. Begin! Uh, how's everyone doing? You doing good? Just posting the links around. This very nice-ish Saturday morning. It's cold as feck. Um, probably only gonna be streaming for maybe like hour and a bit today. I work a little earlier than usual. I'm gonna open with some jetpack, nice and simple. Jetpack is loading. When I'm not under constraints, um, jetpack's a little bit easier. I play a very careful game of jetpack. <laughs> Floating jetpack man. Damn it! Come on. Come on. Fuel my sheep. And. Fuck it, let's go! Woo, made it. Now it's just get fuel and points, right? Yeah. I keep forgetting the stage looping is a f mechanic in this game. Ho, 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 ho. Pew, pew. Trust issues. Damn it! Got it! <laughs> How's everyone doing today? Is everyone doing okay? Not much activity in chat right now. I have to wait to rustle up some views. Except I guarantee you everyone's playing Metal Gear Solid. Not surprised. Oh, oh I can leave! <laughs> Peace out, motherfuckers! Oh, it's lagging so bad. <sighs> Giant space testicles. I'm just making this up as I go along. Come on. Give me the, give me that few. I need that f whoa. Oh, the lag is helping. Nice. Made it. Jetpack is weird. Hmm. 
Oh, fighter planes. Pfft, very suicidal fighter planes, jeez. Getting aggressive, son. Yes, made it. Oh, I'm building a new ship now. Oh, tiny little ufos. Tiny little ufos. Die. <laughs> I'm building the U2. I'm building Bono's spaceship. And I'm going to steal it from him and move. Whoa. No. Oh, am I still alive? I'm still rocking? Yeah, we are. Nope. They kind of home in on you. They're like kind of little assholes. Come on, one more. There it is. There it is. There it is. Oh, just die all of you. Yes, made it. Still going. This rocket totally looks like a dick. Mm. That's all I'm saying. I'm fighting pluses now. I'm fighting the math men. Maybe these are part of like the Numericons from Rick and Morty. With water tea. Oh, damn it. Mm. Jetpack. Holy god, 31% blast off from every level. That's a lot of levels. What else we got? A uh, lot of points. A lot of fuel. Wow. It assumes you're gonna play a lot of jetpack. Holy jeez. <laughs> Lunar Jetman just confuses the hell out of me. Like, I kinda get it, but it's really complex. Like, needlessly complex. I'm not even gonna bother with a tick attack. That game just frustrates me. Saber Wolf is crazy. Underworld has the worst jumping physics ever. I don't know how why this is on the collection, but I guess it's like one of their big ones. <laughs> Little bubble dude. We got some night lore. Gun fricked. Slam. Him. Or see pro am one. Am I close to getting some more stamps? I'd love to get another stamp card filled today. Become Enthusiast 5. How many do I need? Seven? Over time, perform post-challenge spins. Complete every level in the game. Collect 100 power-up pods. One and a half million points. Are we gonna do some boating today? Yeah, we're gonna do some boating today. New game. Buddha Triangle. Push start to play. Love this game. Best 30 bucks you can spend on gaming right now is a copy of Rare Replay.
go this way for once. Yeah, my bullets move faster now. One more, and I think I get the uh, the, the stamp. Nice. Oh, huh? serpentine. Oh, I did it. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Every time I get an achievement on my Xbox, my Windows PC also tells it to me because I'm on Windows 10 and it has uh, Xbox integration, which is nice. Can't stop the rock! Still get to put power up race, right? Yeah. Oh, isn't this temporary? Yeah, damn it. More speed's good. Okay, I got the cross shot for that one mission that I'll need. Yeah, that's just like a weird collect the power-ups mission. Okay, here's what I got the thing for. Oh, I should've got missiles. You're wondering why I probably don't give a fuck about some people. Because you only need one to finish the mission. The trick is, so your bullets don't expire too soon, is just to develop a rhythm. For, for doing most nothing, I still have seven people. Five people. Four people. <laughs> Sacrifices were necessary. Fry the monster. Run. Missiles. Shit. There we go. I think you just gotta get in close and just wail on him. Hmm. I'm gonna shoot the targets. Curses. My troops are ready for battle in Clash of Clans, apparently. Ugh. I hate this level. 
Uh, uh, that was three logs? Done, son. Let's try again. Reach the finish. Oh. 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 No. Yes. Use this moment of invincibility. Yes. Yes. Good. Made it. Oh, I hate that level. Oh, I hate it so very much. Oh, I hate this one too. <laughs> kind of like curve back a little there. Oh, jeez. Jump the waterfall. <laughs> Damn it! How's everyone doing this morning? Shit! What? Really? gonna be we're gonna be rub rub end what's up Andreon brains yeah I get I get that morning feeling hmm I'm gonna do one more of these uh, Cobra Triangle runs. Jeez, guys just killing themselves. Not a morning person, and it's like 12:30. Need people get away from that morning. Yeah, I'm only streaming for like an hour and a bit this morning. Then I gotta go cash my check, pay bills, buy Metal Gear Solid 5. Oh, it's gonna be great. Son of a bitch. No, you cannot has. Big spike in viewers. Gonna have to go buy that just so I don't have to put up the moving in several more. Yeah, that's how I feel right now. I've kept myself pretty spoiler free the last couple of days. But, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to having a great time with it. Oh, good. The shotgun. That's the one I want.
Yeah, missiles. I can just get that once more before the next boss fight. I'm laughing. No. I want that one up. Nice. There we go. Should really focus on those. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to to playing it. Uh, I'm probably gonna stream it. Look at these guys, like, they're all, like, waving for help, but look at their faces, they just don't give a fuck. They're just like, eh, save me. Whoa! It was just little 360s. Buddy at work just wants to do nothing but talk about Metal Gear Solid V, and I'm like, no, shut up. <laughs> I will fire you if you spoil this game for me. Eight seconds. Just end. Okay, go ahead, take him. I don't fucking care. You only need one. <laughs> yeah, I went. Alright, let's fry a monster. Wow. Wow. Wasted. Just wrecked. Bonus stage. Oh, I missed the last one. I saved many lives on that boss, namely because I just went up and just started wailing on him. Uh, this is where I'm going to lose all the lives. Also, um, I managed to reduce the delay on Twitch by a very considerable amount. Because um, when you disable... When you kind of modify the delay uh, when you're streaming on PC, it's really weird. But, uh, doing that in combination with being on Xbox, it, um, wow, that level was really easy. Um, I managed to get the delay down, uh, like at least 10 to 20 seconds, so chat integration is a little bit nicer. Oh, man. Damn it! No, you didn't see me. No, I'm not rewinding. No, I'm, I'm doing this legitimate. Oh. Come on, this is the last waterfall. Ah, ah fuck it. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. <laughs> Speedboat race. Good old fashioned weapons based speedboat race where I just kill everyone at the beginning. No, oh, give me my shotgun back. Yeah, I actually hit the shortcut for the first time ever. I normally die on that immediately. Wow, that takes a huge chunk off the track. If I can get one more missile before the next boss fight, that'd be cool.
Oh, wow. Nice. I have a myriad of points. How's everyone in chat doing? I see seven of y'all in there. Crab battle! Ah. Nice. Just one peg of health. Doing it. All right, where are we going? Bonus stage? Shoot the targets! Just shy of bonus life. Lots of points, though. Hmm? Whoa, okay. Oh, crap. You can't just serpentine the whole time. Oh, what? Screw it. Wow, they're getting a little more hardcore here, huh? Yeesh. Okay, we're doing it. Yeah. We're getting there. We're twerking our boat butt. Damn it. Yeah. Huh. Huh? Oh. Oh. That's so wonderful. You know what? Fuck it. The cheese is real this round. I want to see what this game has to offer me. This is not some hardcore Saturday shit. I died and I won with all the cheese. <laughs> Reach the finish. Whoa. Jesus. Insane. I've never been this far in the game, so I just want to see what's up. Oh my god. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Thank you. 
Uh, yeah. Oh my. Oh my god, they're just stabbing. I will get through this. How do they expect people to beat this? Like, legitimately, how do they expect people to beat this? Is there something I'm not doing? Okay, so there's gonna be those two at the end there, huh? Okay. They converge on me! Maybe I am abusing Rewind a bit, but what about it? <laughs> if it's built into the game, it's not cheating. <laughs> oh my goodness. Whoa. I am skipping to my loo, my darling. More missiles? Better missiles? Nice! Oh! I got a hundred power up pods. Achievement for that. Oh, no. Honestly, this is my favorite part of the game, the races. The guy who died owed me five bucks, it's okay. Or got kidnapped, who knows what they're doing to him. It's probably worse than death. 
Maybe they're all getting taken to a really sweet party and I'm the party crasher. They're all like, no. Yeah, like, look, 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 they're having fun as they get dragged, taken away. Yeah, they're waving their hands. Look at that guy. He's like, yeah, I'm going to party. Nope, that didn't happen. Oh, the missiles actually damage you a little? Okay. Shit. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Cheesing. Come on, 13 seconds of this. Whoa. Things are getting just a little out of hand here. Nice. That one missile is just like, eh. Making it happen. Collect pods. Can do. Whoa. Bombs. Whoa, I got some homing missiles. I got life. Yeah, I got an extra life. I can cheese a little less now. Ooh, that hurt. No. Give me two more. Two more. Two more. Oh, one up. Nice. We cheese them one up. There we go. Nice. How's everybody doing? I see uh, some numbers happening. Oh yeah, let's do this. Uh, the those insta kill you, so I'm trying to stay away from them as hard as I can. Winner. <laughs> I'm a winner today. <laughs> but I want to shoot the targets. Wow, those uh, those missiles are very persistent. <laughs> We're in this now. <laughs> How much further to go, I wonder? Ooh. Purple and gray. We're inside Skeletor's bloodstream. He man, do you want to race my bone? A car alarm just started going off outside as soon as I did the Skeletor voice. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, force heals you. Oh, shit. And gives you, like, missile fire. That's a cool thing to have in reserve. All right, all right. I'm still learning things about this game, apparently, that, like, eight-year-old me couldn't comprehend. Eight-year-old me couldn't get past the second boss. But I loved this game, because I'm just like, it's fast boats. With guns. Okay, cool. I have I have the force. Oh, these 
tracks are getting long. Svet. Everyone in chat having a good day? Reach the furnish. Too bad. Uh, fuck that one though. Oh my god, it's like converging and then just like, yeah, nah. There you go. Those whirlpools are the worst enemy in the game. Oh, I can shoot down the planes? Oh shit. They're low flying enough. No, we must cheese every life we can. Stupid log. Stupid log. I think I saw the finish line up there. Yep. Ha! <laughs> the cheese is real. I'm also just doing it so I can actually get the high score thing for this game. Five. Oh, the mines. Holy shit. Excuse me? You've just got a, 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 a sentient whirlpool guarding your bomb disposal facility. Awesome. That plane caught me in its cross. That's fine. As long as I got the mine there. Um, it's not a singular high score requirement, it's just accumulate a million and a half points over time. And seeming how I'm like 20 levels in and just hitting 800,000 now. My goodness. Oh crap. We are time run low. To be fair, this is the first time in the dozens of hours in Rare Replay that I've started abusing the rewind. This is the only game that makes me really want to do it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can understand why. It's just like, nah, you're not gonna hit the ramp today. Ugh. It's like say I prefer rewinding to save states. Believe a boat can fly. I got the million and a half point achievement. Now it's Fry Monster. What? It's fireball kills you in one hit? Okay, yeah, thank god I'm cheesing this game. Oh, goodness. What? Two boss fights in a row? Excuse me? Oh my god. 
It's Jaws! How... How to Jaws? How to my Jaws? Oh my goodness. He's a tough shark. Really? And I'm super timed? Do I have to just risk it and just like... No. Do I lure him? Yeah, when he knows he's gonna eat me, he pops out. What's the mechanic here? Yeah, this game is definitely making its last stand. This game's getting sick of my shit. The missiles don't even, like, do anything. I'm out. One second. Hang on. Cobra Triangle Shark Boss. Oh, this is the, this is it. This is the final boss, is the shark. Um... Yeah. I believe. Um, tough part, you can only hit him when he comes out of the water and you have to be in front of him. Oh, are you serious? Okay. So I have to be close to him for the shots to register. So they have to be like little melee hits, almost. be in front of him. Oh, I see. Oh, you have to shoot him in the face. You specifically shoot him in the face. I had this. I got this. I got this now. Maybe not that close. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, come on, you little fuck. Yeah! No. A little more triumphant. Got one. Yeah. Got one. Yeah, you little bastard. Ah! Oh, wait, I only have one life left? Yeah, okay, not. I can't cheese any lives. Oh, boy. So he's gonna be over there. Okay. Okay. There's two more bits. Well, there's another one. Come on. Oh. Oh, 
two more. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so he's gonna swerve around there. Is he? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Congratulations. People jumping in my boat. Crashed airplanes? <laughs> that was the hardest level yet. Credits. Woo! We beat Cobra Triangle! I've never beat Cobra Triangle! Cobra Commander! Achievement unlocked! Cobra Triangle, complete every level of the game over time! Yeah! Security! Dog, 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 dog. <laughs> oh, shit! Thank you for playing. Slightly off center. The end. No, 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 this is a good run. We're gonna be Siege the Gump, for sure. Wow. I only died a million times and had to abuse enough rewind to probably fill up a whole container full of sand. Wow. Rad. I got four stamps. Jeez. All milestones completed? Oh, I've a hundred percented Cobra Triangle. Oh, hang on, I gotta make a screenshot of this. Oh, I can't while I'm streaming. Oh dear. Sorry. Okay. Take the helm of a Cobra class motorboat. Woo! I'm at a loss of what to play next. Love the remix on the title card. Oh, the, dude, the remixes for these games are amazing. Um, for example, you know, Jetpack, a game with no music, has music now. For example. They just use that clicking really well. Rare Replay is really well done. There is like, there's so much polish on here, you wonder if there's more polish than game. But then there's still incredible games. Snake, Rattle, and Roll. This is a weird favorite of mine. Why not try Snake, Rattle, and Roll? Yeah, you. I think you called it there, actually. <laughs> just for you, Andreon. Just because you stuck around in chat. We're, we're gonna do some Snake, Rattle, and Roll for a bit. Um... Actually, 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 actually. Just just bear with me for like two seconds here. What I'm going to do is take myself two second break, reload my drink, reload my stomach. Um, but just like last time, I'm not gonna leave you guys with nothing. Rare Replay has a section called Rare Revealed where you unlock videos um, giving you some pretty cool rare history. Unfortunately, I don't think there's one for Snake Rattle and Roll. But. Is there one for Cobra Triangle? There's Banjo, Battletoads, Conkers, Killer Instinct, Viva Pinata, Blast Core, and Jet Force Gemini. You know, since I'm doing Banjo, why don't we do, um. Why don't you all learn some stuff about Banjo? I'm gonna mute the microphone. I'm gonna be back in, uh. I'll bring the mic back on when the video's over. So, uh, again, you know, you guys are great for sticking around. Um, 
in about five minutes, I'm gonna run some snake rattle and roll for the end of the stream. So uh, I'll be I'll be right back. After we'd done uh, two two kind of platform games, that are kind of we were, we were kind of looking for the next opportunity. One part of the team went on to build DKC3, and the other one went on to create a new IP called Project Dream, which at the time was on the Super NES. We were all massive fans of Zelda, so we thought, let's, let's, let's do our take on an adventure game. When I joined Dream, we just started to move it to N64. It had previously been started on SNES, but we were looking to move it onto this new machine. We had a, a character on the screen, it kind of, it looked very nice, but this, this was like really at the end of the um, Super NES's life. We had Edson, which was the hero of the game, and we had Dinger, which was his kind of pet dog that he finds. And he'd say, a dog? I can see a dog down there. I'd better go and see if he's all right. You'd go down, you'd get the dog, and then you'd be chased by trolls. And we worked on that for quite a number of months. This kind of boy who kind of grew up in a village and he went out into the big wide world uh, where he gets embroiled in this kind of fantastic adventure. Um, and the main bad guys were a bunch of pirates led by uh, Captain Black Eye. The view you had was kind of a bit like a game called Pandemonium or Nights into Dreams. I think the scope of the thing was so large, we were almost, we, were almost we, could, we, could, we couldn't see any end in sight. And Greg and Tim had been talking and they decided to change the whole styling of the game and it became uh, something akin to Super Mario 64. We'd changed the main character from the boy um, who we felt was a bit weak and we, we felt we wanted something a bit more Something a bit more character, so we, we investigated firstly a rabbit, uh, and then secondly a bear. Get rid of this, this, this guy, let's get a, 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 an animal in there. Bear, we're having a bear, that was it. It went from being Dream to being Kazoo, but it, again it was it was jumping on things and um, you know lots of kind of baddies and different things you could be doing. And it's all going to be instruments, banjo, piccolo, blues, all of those. Like, yes, yes, I'll just do it right now. So we had kind of banjo in this kind of big sprawling adventure game that we weren't quite sure how we were ever going to finish. So we decided to can dream at that point um, and focus on something we, we felt a lot more confident we could we could kind of build. And I remember talking with Chris Stamper in the canteen once and he asked me what I thought of banjo. And I still think I was a little bit annoyed that the rabbit had been dumped. We took banjo. Um, from Project Dream and, and kind of put him in his own game where we wanted him to be a platformer. Should have been a rabbit. It would have been Bunny Kazooie or something. The roaming world of Banjo, we encountered a whole new set of problems because we were working in 3D now and we had things like a, a camera that we had to keep control of and work out where it was going to go and what's going to happen when the player goes behind a wall. So we started developing like a, a move set for Banjo um, and I wanted to give him a double jump having kind of seen, seen Mario's double jump but I wanted it to be more flexible so the player could double jump anywhere they like. We were up against Mario, I wanted to try and beat Mario and that was our thing, you know, try to do that. Now what would explain away the fact that this, this fat bear can jump in midair? Um, so I think we pondered a few ideas and when we're getting desperate when and usually when you get desperate all the crazy ideas come out and and, and one idea we had was um, some a pair of wings could appear out of this backpack all these sort of things that we just encounter as we started developing and we kind of just tackled them as we as we encountered them so these this pair of wings kind of came out of the backpack and and flapped it and it explained it away and it fitted perfectly we started testing out proper sort of 3d levels and then we got you know the character jumping around and swimming and things and it then went from kazoo um, to banjo kazoo well let's have a pair of legs that appear out the backpack to kind of assist banjo so it's not him running it's the uh, these legs so we then added ei on the end or ie rather and um and it became banjo kazooie and then we just made that these wings and these legs could be could belong to uh, another character, and this character lives in Banjo's backpack and comes out at um, occasions to help him along. So that was where Kazooie was born. It was probably the breakthrough moment, and and then all the dialogue, the interjection between them, and, and Kazooie being sarcastic and uh, adventurous, and Banjo being like kind of a bit uh, dim-witted and slow. All of that was kind of came afterwards, and it was all literally just built on this wanting a double jump. We needed like, a shaman character, um, and then it was really just down, you know, we were just left to do, you know, get on with it. Um, 
So Mumbo quickly took shape with his skull and his feathers and his furry pants. And um, in those days, you could literally draw the character, get someone to approve it, model it, animate it, and have it in the game. It was, you know, two or three days. So Banjo and Kazooie never speak, but initially they did. I think one of the reasons we made them have that strange garbled noise. <laughs> We realised that we are going to have to record so much uh, speech, it was going to increase development time considerably. I did the voice of Mumbo, of course, and uh, Ikumbokum. The voices for all the characters were just kind of different. A lot of them were Grant, but a lot of them were different people just kind of mumbling sort of different little phrases. The Ikumbokum, I just played with it, it, just, it sounded good. So Ikumbokum is made up of come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. So like I kind of went, I went, God, what I, I bought it, it got I eat up like that, and I like, recorded myself doing that, and then I cut it up into pieces. When we'd been working on Dream, I'd been doing some of the voices for the boy, and then when he changed to the bear, um, Tim was looking for a noise, there are noises that he would make and words that he would say. So I did some of the voices for Banjo then, and then it transformed into the gargled noise at the end. So the no. Kazooie needed a special noise as well, and it needed to be separate from Banjo, it needed to be uh, noticeably different. So we made her a much sharper uh, noise because she was a Brie girl. So that was why she was Brie! Stop and Swap, that came about because we discovered by accident that if you pull out the cartridge on the N64, put in another cartridge, the contents of the memory, the RAM, are still there. So we realised that we could use this to make a transfer of some information from one game to another. The idea was to have, to either reward players for playing rare games, so it's like the more you play the more you get rewarded, or um, to, to actually swap items between games, and that's where the stop and swap came from. I can see you have to like, like quickly grab the cartridge, grab it and then put the other one in. Um, and I think uh, we were uh, concerned that people were going to do damage to their cartridges. Uh, unfortunately we didn't tell Nintendo because we didn't think they'd really need to know until towards the end and then of course when we did tell them they said that's not really going to work and it's not guaranteed to work in all cases for the N64. So as a result we had to drop the feature but the remnants of that still exist in both games. The game, I think, was well received. Again, another massive thing for me was to see Banjo at the top of the all formats charts in in the UK. Yes, yeah, so I think I think players uh, appreciated the the, the, the humour and the charm and the, and the characters uh, we managed to put into the world. When I see my son play Banjo Kazooie, it's just it's really heartwarming because it just it just feels right, right. It felt like almost every character you came across had a story to tell. Most of them were soap stories that you had to help out. So it's almost like. Um, Banjo was like a, a agony aunt going around fixing all these problems. So, like running around in Banjo was fun without doing anything. It was just fun to run around, you know. I think they were. I think they. I think they loved it, didn't they? What are you saying? <laughs> it had that all that magic about it. You could feel it. It was in the walls. I think it was just the the, the whole immersive nature of the world, the fantastic music, the, the kind of just the the charm of it was kind of what elevated it from maybe just another just another 3D platform into something that, that kind of people remember. Oh my god, my soul. If you think you are enough. <laughs> I fucking love that. All right, so I promised y'all some uh, snake rattle and roll. I think I'm gonna deliver on that. <clears throat> Thusly. What milestones do I have left? Complete every level, huh? Eat a total of 250 nibbly pebblies, get 100 tail extensions, and get a million points. All right. So we're gonna do this. I love this game. I'm gonna eat the hockey puck. Jump! Jump! Oh, that's close. 
is a great co-op game. It's a shame I'm the only person here today. Yeah, bigger tail gets you like a bigger tongue, right? As well. like a checker from a checkerboard. I'm fat enough to ring the bell. Fuck you, Roll. You get zero points. I am the best snake. You gotta, like, stomp them. That's right. Diamondes. Eat the spring. Spring snake. Us go whoa, no, go away. <laughs> ah, no. Oh, oh it's, it's just understanding the weird, like, 45 degree movement system. Can I just get fat, please? So they're just harder to get? Must be. Ha! Ha! Fuck you! Oh, you have to actually jump at the waterfall first, I think. That's the problem. Crap. Huh? 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 So how's chat doing? Y'all doing good? I see some of y'all in there. Idling. Ha! Ha! <laughs> Flood in the tunnel. Barely got any points that round. Uh. <laughs> Arg! Was it worth it? Probably not. That's just a toilet seat. Yeah, this game is weird. Arg. Now you can you can go up waterfalls, right? No? Whoa, I angered the golden toilet seat. 
I do that every morning. Oh, God damn it, fuck. Arbitrary not walls. I'm, oh, oh, good, no, 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 that's great. Reverse controls, perfect. Can this go away? There we go. Ha! Ha! No. Jump the blade that cuts my snake. No! 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 Yeah, there we go. All the cheese. All the cheese that's fit for licking. You can stomp the toilet seats too, which seems like a far more sanitary idea. This is some weird snakes, man. enough snake to ring that bell. Oh. Four long, and that's it, right? Oh no! <laughs> Are you serious? Are you kidding me right now? I have 13 seconds left. extension Oh no, can't leap. Oh, whatever, I rung the bell and the door's open. We're good. So how's everyone doing? A lot of people watching today. Middle Gear Solid 5 came out, apparently everyone just wants to watch some snake rattle and roll. These these are the real snake those are the real twin snakes right there. I should just rename this the twin snakes and just troll a lot of people. Seeds the cup, twin snakes. <laughs> Shit. Huh. Toilet seat death. This game has rad music. I wonder if knowing Rare, they were like, yeah, you can lick the toilet seats to death, but you can stomp them too. Licking them's just much easier. Nope. We are just gonna cheese everything today. Cheese sandwich. No. No, give me food. Give me the snick food. Whoa. I don't want no flat food. That's like some gluten-free shit. I want the real thing, yo. Snake, 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 snake. So last time I had to get five, so let's just get nice and fat. Before we really go do anything. Oh my 
my goodness. I'm the worst snake ever, I can't eat for shit. Maybe it's glowing because that's as many as I need. Let's test that theory. The game theory. Snake rattle and roll, you tail glow means you're done the stage. That's my game theory. Tricky jumps. <laughs> Made the jump. Made it a little too well, in fact. Oh, it's a bomb. I don't want to be anywhere near that shit. Whoa. Snake hole? Snake bonus! <laughs> I'm a snake, and I'm eating all the things. Some serious platforming here. Nice. Snake in the hole. Wow, I ate a lot of balls. Nice. Getting that score up there. Some crazy snakes. Flying carpet round. Okay. <laughs> Keep forgetting snakes take fall damage. Oh, it's the golden snitch! The double tongue. Ho oh. ho ho! I have played this two player before, and it is immediately harder because you have to share the camera. So. Oh no, okay, don't get those. Don't get that. Don't get that. <laughs> Where is that? Lined up, technically. Okay. Ah, I don't know how you're supposed to make that. That seems weird. Let's safely descend. No. Safely! There we go. <laughs> Woo! Oh, bombs. My tongue is huge. I gotta be a brave snake. Oh, shit. Okay, my controls are fucked. Uh, hang on. And I need food back later. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll probably still be going. Take care, Andreon. You get your food. Oh, 
super fast snake. Kill the fiend. Really? I'm still not beefy enough. No. Yeah, I think when you yeah, let's test this. When you're if you're glowing, do you ring the bell? Yes. Cool. Oh, this is some Mega Man disappearing puzzle shit. God, it would give you one of those at the end, wouldn't it? Hmm. Getting points. Getting points loaded up. Oh yeah, okay. Kind of cheese it. Eh, 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 eh. Eh. My God. Okay, I can crush them. Nope. Careful. Boom. 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 The last one's always so brutal. You just forcefully slam yourself into them. Like you know they're going to die. Nope. Better snake jump. Nope. Oh, there we go. I needed the wings. Ah, we can do this now. Okay. Okay. No. Nope. Please let this one just be get to the end. Shit. Man. Oh, 
hard. Nice. Not even a bell to ring. Sensational. Very nice. <laughs> the land is covered with spiked silver and golden dildos. What a strange place. <laughs> it's like right on the edge. What? Oh my god, they just home in on your ass. Can they be destroyed? Maybe not. <laughs> so now I will die. Really, no no margin of error for these guys, huh? Fuck. What in the hell? I got that though, didn't I? I have a gold tongue. Can I f can I mess with these guys now? No. Why can't I kill this guy? Come on. You're just a cone. Better than you. Screw it. Nice. Time. Oh, I see. Haha. -ha. Really? Just those two? Oh my god. Oh! Tricky business. <laughs> Damn it. Yes. No. Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, the rewind is getting abused here. Ha! Ah. So I have to go hard up and... Made it. Oh, hey. As long as you're not jumping, they can be fucked with. Neat. Let's get some points with Bigfoot. This is a very point-heavy Bigfoot. <laughs> I wonder if the microphone's still good. Yeah, it's still good. Oh man. <laughs> hmm? Oh. Right. I'm underwater. I don't think I want to eat the blackfish. Hmm? What? All gone. No, 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 I need the time. Super bad. This is such an interesting level. So just eat all of them, okay. Come on. 
Get fat, you snake bastard. <laughs> oh my god, my tongue's on the other side of the screen. That's so creepy. Let's get out of here. Indigestion. Oh, 100 tail extensions over time in Snake Rile and Roll. Cool. Making more achievements happen all the time. Yeet. Consume. Some serious hidden messages in this game. <laughs> Eat! Eat! Um... Yeah... Come on... Eat! No! Let me eat you! Eat you? Let me eat you? There we go! There. Yes! Incredible! Wow. <laughs> Mad snake points. So, for everyone watching, you know, thank you guys. I would really appreciate if anybody could follow the stream, like us on... Twitter and Facebook and YouTube. You can just Google Siege the Gump and you'll find everything you need to know. Is this an ice level? Oh god, there's an ice level in this game. Oh no. Huh, 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 huh. Oh my god. You assholes, Rare. No, I'm doing so well. Grind for points. I don't think these guys ever die. I think you just like nail them for points forever. <laughs> System cheesed.
Okay, maybe I gotta concentrate on eating now. Instead of eating points. Oh, can I ring the bell? Hooray! all my balls. Hmm. Uh. No. No. My god, this game is evil. Hmm. Is everyone in chat doing okay? they hate ice levels as much as I do? Post in chat if you hate ice levels. There's the door! <sighs> yes! Wow. <laughs> wow, no balls. Ice level two. Oh god. Sure. Maybe there's a story to this. I'm not seeing. I'm going down the other side of the mountain for something. We'll never know. I'd love to see a long play of this where just somebody doesn't die. That would be insane. Friggin' snake rattle and roll perfect playthrough. Probably exists. Oh my god, that why does that one look huge? Just grinding for points. Whoa! Shit! <laughs> they actually can die. Focus on getting fat. Feed me. No. Seriously, just throw them down there? Son of a bitch. Oh, God. Why do they have to be flying and so goddamn inaccessible? Hmm. Come on. 
Come on. Feed me. Feed me. Make him a big fat snake and ring the bell. Oh man, no. Okay, where's the door? That's the real question. Where's the door? Where is the door? Oh, okay. I see where the door is. Okay, let's get some precious seconds back. Oh my god, no. Clench my butt now. Jesus. This mountain is insane. Ugh. Jeez. Mmm. Oh, oh. Just abuse of the rewinds. Uh, come on. Come on. Come on. Uh. Oh, God. How? How are you supposed to do this legitimately? Like, rare. Thank you for the rewinds, but jeez. No thank you for what was no doubt responsible for probably a lot of broken controllers as a kid. Not for me, but from others. I only ever broke one GameCube controller. And that was over Soul Calibur 2. So I kind of feel justified in that, because god damn it, that was my jam as a kid. Uh, are those seriously angled? Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Good lord. Yes! So much, she's awesome. Level 10 completed. Hmm. Nice, nice. Oh, my God. 
Oh, is this gonna be a boss fight against the foot? The moon landing wasn't real, it was snake people! Oh my goodness. This might take me a while. Oh shit. I can't touch him. He's deadly. He's changing color, which means I think I'm doing damage to him. By most video game logic. I think in most video game logic dictates I wouldn't have the ability to rewind time as easily as I can. Unless you're playing, you know, Prince of Persia. Then that's, you know, what the game's, like, all about. Oh my god, my fingers are getting so tired. Would you just die? Gravity is so weird. Uh, are we gonna cheese and win snake rattle and roll, maybe? My word, this is insane. Oh no. Come on. Come on, chat. Root me on. I need I need your strength. I have no idea how much damage this guy takes. And, like, the timer's halfway done. Chat, lend me your strength. We need to use the spirit bomb to get rid of the foot. Ah. Uh. Mildly getting on my nerves now, no big deal. Is this possible? Is this even possible? I'm running out of time. I'm literally running out of time. <laughs> uh. 
time out? Are you for real? I have to do this? Are you for serious? No. I have to just stand here. <laughs> you guys can't really expect me to beat this, do you? What's what's the what's what the what's the damage here? What? What? I don't get it. Chat, help me. Why am I not beating Snake, Rattle, and Roll? Like, why is this foot invincible? Wait a second. What am I supposed to do? Ugh. No. No, just... Hang on. Snake, rattle, and roll, walk. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is ridiculous. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The end game is just a boss fight between the snake and an ice foot. To make things more difficult, there are two sets of meteorites that continuously fall from the sky. These meteorites will scotch the snake if they fall on it. If the ice foot hit the ice foot, the stage human tongue attacks. If the attacks fall. What? There are a couple of. What? It has to be continuous? I have to just... Oh. oh. God, son of a... Okay. Let's start here. Oh, I see. I see. Once it goes blue. Or once it goes back to...
You've got to be freaking kidding me. So it has to stay blue, huh? No. I did it! I beat Snake Rattler Ball! <laughs> no. Come on. Yes! Endrion, where are you? I hope you're here, dude. Hippity hop, hippity hop. Rattle and roller are at the top. See you soon, snakes in space! Wow. Wow. Snakes in space. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Wow. That's awesome. I figure that's a pretty good place to end the stream. Thanks to guys for showing up. Hope everybody has a good rest of their Saturday. Hopefully, I'll be streaming some Metal Gear Solid 5 later. Oh, final score. 666. Really? I should have got way more from that from abusing the, the, the foot score. Alright, though, that's... That's cool. Really? What do I have left? Oh wow. I'm I'm really close. So if I co-op this with somebody. Hmm. Oh, what's an easy milestone to get? Come on, I want to I want to fill my card. I I said I would. Battletoads. I must I must have some really easy ones left for Battletoads games. Nope. Arcade? I think something I can bang out in five minutes. Oh, probably a particular set of skills. I'll end it with a bit of Battletoads. Something action-y. Let's be Pimple. Touchdown! Football frog. Touchdown, touchdown. I want that Battletoads football helmet. <laughs> I want it so bad. Ugh.
Whirlwind Punch. Alright. Just a moment. Okay, yeah, it is counting uh, this. Good. Wasn't 100% sure if it had to be with the same toad. Endrion, you missed it! We beat Snake, Rattle, and Roll! We actually finished the game! Oh, no! Got snakes in space, man. Oh well. It's good to be fooded. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely throw that one up on uh, on the YouTube channel. If you subscribe to it, um, I throw like 90% of the streams up there, all the good ones, anyways. So today's will definitely go up. I'll um I'll make sure that starts uploading before I go to work today. I do do uploads. I'll, um, as soon as I'm finished here, or even at the bottom of the Twitch page, should be a link to the YouTube channel. So, subscribe there if you want to watch all the streams and goodness that you missed. Like my frog butt getting kicked by a Minotaur Man over here. There you go. Into space. Hmm. Mission complete. I'm just whooping a bunch of enemies real quick so I can get the last stamp so I can upgrade my card. I keep forgetting the snow level is the second one. There's a lot of enemies here. Oh, head stomp. Oh, I hate these little elf bastards. Oh, not today. Let's make him explode. Last warning, that's not the last warning. This level has like so many goddamn signs. Not even gonna mess with you. Butt kicking zone. Hmm. 
Oh, I forgot they puke. Yeah. This game's brutal. Touchdown. Ugh. Oh, squished. Pimple. Touchdown. So again, if you guys like the stream, give us a subscribe, give us a like, just, you know, watch us, watch me game. I, I do tend to stream, you know, once to twice a day as much as I can. I do a lot of rare replay stuff. MGS5 is coming soon, if not tonight. Danger. Mmm, tasty flies. How close am I to that thousand kill one? I must be right close. Maybe it'll count it at the end of the stage. Alright. There we go. Particular set of skills. Defeat a thousand enemies with standard attacks. That's about as much as I care for right now. Nice. Oh, I'm still just an enthusiast. I guess there are 330 stamps, and I'm 108. That's still ridiculous. You unlocked a new video? Nah. Over time, beat the game with all the toads. 100 enemies with smash hit attacks. Okay. Okay, that's pretty good, though. Alright, guys, that's where I'm definitely gonna, you know, end that stream for today. Um, thank you guys so much for joining us. I can't believe I beat Snake, Rattle, and Roll and Cobra Triangle in the same stream. That's amazing. Um, definitely throwing this one on YouTube. Um, thanks again for showing up. You guys are amazing. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, hope you all have a great rest of your weekend. I am going to just resnap Twitch and kill the broadcast.